This is going to be a short movie just describing our new driver that we've built for the uh, new Sakia GSR 2700 ISX receivers. And in this movie, we'll also show you how to uh, use the Bluetooth manager on the tracker to make Bluetooth connections to the receivers. So I'm just starting a new project here with uh, one of our trackers. And then I need to define my coordinate system for uh, the location I'm surveying in. Now I'm going to be connecting first to um, a reference, which is going to be my uh, base station. And for those of you who are going to be using a new Sakia, let's just look through some of the settings here. You'll see there's a new model, Sakia GSR 2700. The port I'm using is Bluetooth. And my data collector, the Bluetooth port, is COM6, and then we'll be communicating through that port at 38400. Now for my tolerance, this is just the default settings that I'm going to use. For the antenna height, we've added in the antennas for that receiver. I'm just going to leave my height here set to zero just because we're doing a sample movie. And then for the correction link, I have it set to radio. If we go into setup, I got it set to the satelline uh, radio model. And then the frequency, you have to define what frequency you want to use. I believe on uh, the Sakia receivers, it's a number between 461 and 465. Choose a message type. Uh, we have added in support for the CMR+. And then for the link communication, the GPS port for the radio, we're using internal radio, and they're currently set to 9600 baud. And now we'll just close that. And the next thing I need to do is just connect to the receiver with Bluetooth. So all I did is clicked on the Bluetooth icon, go on my Bluetooth manager. Now I've, I have some uh, favorites already set up here. Perhaps I should uh, delete these so you can see how we create that. Now what you need to do is do a generic search. Go next. Refresh the list. And now I have both the base receiver and the rover receiver turned on. So we'll just let it find the receivers here. So the I can just tell by the serial number I know that is the uh, base receiver. So I'm just going to select that and hit next. Now what it'll do is it'll search for services that are available. I'm going to choose the COM2. And here you can uh, give it a friendly name. Uh, I might want to call this base. And I want to save, save it as a favorite and hit connect. Okay, now I can close this up. And so I've established my Bluetooth connection. And now I can press the connect button here to use our profile and connect to the receiver. Okay. Everything is the same here. I'm currently set up in my office. Um, I'm doing pretty good. It's uh, amazing that I'm tracking seven satellites. But that's probably just because the Sakia is a good receiver. And uh, so let's just press the measure button. And we're going to use this option. Let it average a couple. Oh. Let's just, uh, well, it looks like we're uh, lost some satellites there. Let's just do it again. Let's wait for the numbers to get better here. Yeah, our PDOP's high, so let's just go ahead and configure that here. Oh, I want to select the rover, or the reference. It's going to lower the amount of satellites to three, and let's put the PDOP up to 20 just to make sure 
we can uh, get a measurement here. And as I said, I'm inside a room right now, so it's just currently uh, receiving those satellite signals through the windows. Okay, now let's try this again. What's a good demo without a few little hiccups? Okay, so let's just average a couple positions. And then we'll hit set position. Let's so press no. Now it's configuring the receiver with that average position. And then we should get a message telling us that it's safe to disconnect. And so we're just going to disconnect from the receiver. Now here's a new checkbox in the latest build. Um, previous versions uh, when you disconnected, we had a bug where it would stop the transmission uh, of the corrections. So that has been fixed. So here we're just going to press yes. And then we just need to open up our Bluetooth manager. Stop the connection for the Bluetooth. I'm going to just double click it. Double click it again here. Having a little problem here with the screen capture. It's going to hit disconnect. There we go. Now it's disconnected. So I'm just going to pause this movie, and then we'll do another one and uh, show you how to connect to the rover.